Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I have something pretty interesting from my friends at Banggood. This is the Isheen LOL5. I, at least I think that's what you call it. LAL5, LOL5, LOL, LAL, YOLO, whatever. Anyways, let's get in here and take a look at this thing. So, it comes in a pretty big box. And we get a set of Racer Star Tornado Props. I have no idea what kind of pitch these are. They say they're 50, 46 props. If you can see that there, 50, 46. Looks like there's probably two sets in there. Stickers. Um, a bunch of zip ties. That's kind of cool. A foam battery mat. Prop nuts. Uh-oh. They're different colors. Uh, I don't like that already. Battery strap. Um, looks pretty herky. Let's see. Uh, no rubber on it, but it is stitched. Eh, doesn't really seem to be anything special about it. Let's see. We have a ND filter for the Cadex Tarsier. It's an ND8 filter. Kind of nice to have. Uh, bag of hardware. A bag of carbon fiber wrenches that are totally useless. Ooh. And a little, a little carbon fiber AK. Go with them blinging gold motors on this thing. Yeah. Anywho. So let's get this guy out of the box. It is packed in there super tight. And there it is. This is the Ishin LOL 5. And right off the bat it it is very different looking the motors are freaking enormous on this thing they are 2507s uh yeah very big motors these they don't have the kv rating lasered onto them but they should be uh 1850 kv so this is right in that sweet spot 6s range uh they look an awful lot like the sick motors so the Ishin or the Racer Star Sick Motors, so they look an awful lot alike. Not a whole lot of difference. Yeah. Anyways, so this comes as a plug and play drone. So we have our servo connector here for our receiver. Um, so we'll have to provide our own uh, XT60, of course. Uh, the power wires are pretty skimpy. I'd say these are probably. Oh, let's see, what is this? 16 gauge wire? That's pretty light, especially for these big honking motors. So this might be a bit of a bottleneck for us. Uh, they conveniently installed one of the battery straps already for us. Let's get this out of the way so we don't have to look at it. It does come with some purple TPU uh, skid slash arm protectors. So that's kind of nice. Really interesting frame design. Um, typically, you kind of see like a bottom plate and then it's sandwiched with the arms on top of the bottom plate. Uh, this is kind of the other way around. Kind of interesting. This thing is pretty stiff. Um, pretty thick arms on it. About 5 mil arms. Top plate is pretty thin, unfortunately. It's about 2 mil and I believe the bottom plate is going to be 2 mil as well. So uh, I'd say probably in a crash... You're going to probably break your top plate, especially with the weight of the battery coming down and cracking that thing. Um, already off the bat, I see that the motor wires are way too short. These things are tight as a guitar string across here. If you hit, uh, you're going to break these and you're probably going to rip the pads off the ESC. Other than that, it looks pretty well assembled, but let's go ahead and tear into it and see what she's got. So we'll go ahead and get under the lid of this guy and... Anyways, while I'm doing this, if you like what I'm doing here, please like, subscribe, check out uh, check out some of my other videos um, on my Patreon page. Uh, if you really want to support me, I do monthly giveaways, uh, giving away a couple drones, a battery charger, a few other things. Uh, I have several different tiers there that you can join. I'd really appreciate that. Google ad revenue is not so great. So help keep me going. Uh, I do have a Discord server that, with that, you can get to me directly if you need help. 
questions, advice, whatever, you name it, I'm there for you. And I want to talk about this. This screwdriver I have there, these are made by Wera. And these things are phenomenal. If you're interested in the screwdriver or any of these, um, I highly recommend Wera. I have a link down at the bottom there if you want to check them out. Uh, really, really good screwdrivers. It really beats the snot out of um, the ones with the anodized handles that uh, Bardwell was hawking. I've been through a couple sets of those. They're not very hard, very weak, uh, weak material. All right, so we got the top off. We see that we got the camera, the Cadex uh, Tarsier V2. It's on a nice little TPU mount. Hopefully that cuts down on the jello. Uh, I, I believe that's kind of the reasoning behind the ND filter they send with it is to help with jello. So on top we have a uh, like a half stack VTX NMCX style connector. So that's kind of nice. Uh, it's, uh, NMCX is kind of my fave at this point. They're a little on the heavy side and I don't feel like they're as versatile as the UFL style connector, but they definitely hold a lot better and are rated for many more mating cycles. So let's go ahead and get this guy on a her. And that is on a plug. So there is your VTX. Looks kind of like the same thing that Maytech makes. It definitely has an LED style indicator and it also is using uh, smart audio. So pretty nice little VTX. Or at least I like the form factor. It's kind of cool. Goes up to 800 milliwatts. Probably if you're setting up VTX tables, this is going to be like um, a Smart Audio 1.0, I believe. Could be wrong about that. Uh, we do have a circular polarized antenna on the back here. This is kind of one of Yishin's own things. Uh, one thing I'm already noticing is all these standoffs are super loose, so... Uh, definitely go through and hit all your hardware up before you fly this guy. Make sure everything's tight. Let's go ahead and get to the flight controller here. The flight controller looks pretty bare. Um, most flight controllers I see nowadays, and they have so many components packed into them. But then again, I don't really do 30 by 30 anymore. Everything I do is 20 by 20. So it's kind of weird seeing so much free real estate on here. This back connector here is for your receiver. I'll go ahead and set that aside. Front center one is your ESC connector. And this one here is for your VTX. So this is going to go back to the Tarsier board. So here's your flight controller. It's a, it's a custom LOL F405 flight controller. I don't really know what that means. It uses MPU 6000. Uh, and it does work from 2 to 6S. And the target's going to be a Matek F405. Um, has a barometer, OSD, you know, eh, the typical stuff. It doesn't have a black box built into it. For the black box, you have to use your own SD card. Uh, these are really good, except for in a crash, you will lose your SD card, or at least I have anyways. Um, it does have a Bluetooth antenna on it because you can run the SpeedyB app on this. So that, that's really cool. I really like that feature. Um, looks like a pretty decent little flight controller. Nothing terrible about it. Solder points look good. The, the silk screening is a little smudgy, but still very, very legible. Uh, so not a bad little flight controller there. Um, let's take a look at the ESC here. So this ESC is just massive looking. It's a 50 amp ESC. Look how big those FETs are. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice looking ESC. Um, let's see how it performs. Solder job, I'd say on a scale of one to 10, uh, I'd give this a five. It, it looks a little wrinkly, like it was a little on the cold side. There's definitely far too much solder on there. Um, there is a little bit of splatter. They didn't bother cleaning off any of the flux. Hopefully they're using a, a non-corrosive style flux. But I don't see really any stray solder anywhere. Uh, it does have a capacitor on it. Let's see, what is this guy? This is a 470 microfarad capacitor. 
So it's better than nothing, but it's not like it's a, a thousand. And in the back here, we have our Tarsier V2 board. Um, uses the little clicky buttons to work through the menu system on it. Um, has a USB port on the side, and it takes, you know, just your standard micro USB. So anyways, that is the basic breakdown of the Isheen LOL 5. So far, I don't see a whole lot of bad. Um, I see a whole lot of good components, or at least decent components. I'm kind of curious how these motors are going to treat my batteries. I'm pretty sure they're just going to destroy them. But, I mean, hey, that's kind of the deal, right? Uh, so anyways, I'll get this together, and I will go out and give it a flight. I'm headed, uh, headed out of the state for the next week or so for the holidays. I'm going to take this guy along with me, and I'm going to go and beat the snot out of it and see how it holds up. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking this out. And if you like what I'm doing here, like I said, head over to my Patreon page. Check that out. Become a patron if you really want to support me. Plus, there's some goodies in there for you. Uh, like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. All right, folks. I will see you next time. We'll be lolling on. I don't know why I said that. Lols? Ugh, I hate myself.